Welcome everybody out there to uh, our today's webinar here at uh, JFT Brokers. Yeah, today is the 30th of August 2018, 7 o'clock, so usual time. It's right to start exactly that kind of webinar. And my name is um, Stefan Friedrichowski. Um, as you know, my last name is really complicated. So um, whenever you get in touch with me, uh, sending me an email or using the chat functionality here, just call me Stefan. Uh, that's fair enough. And um, yeah, I, I would do the same with you. <laughs> um, for the German webinars, it's always um, a little bit more funny because uh, you know that we have um, in the German language, we distinguish um, how to name each other, but anyhow, it's always just like you, at least for my webinars. Yeah, today is really a special webinar, um, and you might imagine that's uh, about a little bit different topic. Um, so today, honestly, we do not talk directly how to develop the next strategy. Um, that, for sure, we will uh, do uh, once again next week already <clears throat> because already next week we have the next webinar then it's once again about uh, how to develop and, uh, a trading strategy and um, we go there for stock trading and, but now from a totally different perspective but anyhow today it's more about investing and trading from a single source as, as you see the title yeah i've changed the title a little bit uh, from the original webinar announcement but um today is really a special day since a couple of days there's something new on jfd um, uh, or at jfd you find new things on the web page and of course, it's about trading. Of course, it's about trading strategies. But now the different story is that you can be part of all those strategies we have discussed here um, during the webinars because simply you can follow now those trading strategies. It's not already all of them uh, what we have done during the last one and a half year. Um, there's a selection, uh, of course, that will be a topic later um, about that kind of selection. And it's not only um, strategies from, from my end. Um, there are at least uh, two other strategies from other guys, um, but you will see. And Finally, what's really important and interesting for me is that this is now really a new opportunity, a new offer, because sometimes we talk about quite complicated strategies here during those webinars. And, it's, and, and definitely it's not straightforward uh, to, to implement those strategies by your own. Uh, sometimes you definitely need an expert advisor to do the job uh, or the trading frequency is too high to manage everything uh, manually. So <clears throat> it's something which makes the life for you easy and therefore it's about investing and trading and everything from a single source. So everything is done at JFT Brokers. Um, so you see already my email address so you know how to get in touch with me if you have any questions, um, slides, okay, the slides are already uploaded today. There's no Excel sheet. It's uh, funny that um, I have an, a webinar here without any Excel sheet, but um, so uh, only the slides, but if you miss it to download, you can just send me an email uh, as always. And the webinar is recorded and you will find <clears throat> the recordings on the JFD YouTube channel um, from tomorrow onwards. Good. but. Anyhow, it's really time to start and talk a little bit more about investing and trading. But before doing so, um, you know that I have always to show at least once <clears throat> that particular slide about the risk disclaimer. So we talk about trading and um, we talk about trading strategies. But as always, if, if it finally comes to trades, uh, those trades are always on your responsibility. So, but you know, that's that story. And uh, in this case, it's a little bit different, uh, honestly, because if you like that kind of approach of um, what we call JFD Invest and what we call mirror trading. Um, if you want to really follow those strategies, then um, yeah, there's an additional risk disclaimer or something you have to confirm, um, but uh, that is uh, also a topic later. 
Let me introduce the topic a little bit more because what we are talking uh, about here today is something you should call digital wealth management. And um, I have to make a remark here because always when I do uh, the kind uh, of webinar here in English, <clears throat> of course, I call it wealth management. And um, yeah, it's funny because my wife is always laughing when I um, when I pronounce wealth because uh, I pronounce it uh, badly uh, wrong and um, there's a German uh, kind of fish which, which sounds quite similar uh, the, the name is Welz um, so um, but anyhow so sometimes uh, if I talk to my wife I talk about fish management um, but anyhow that's uh, only because the pronunciation of th is always a little bit complicated for not native English speaker but <laughs> I think um, you, you can apologize for that wrong pronunciation. But we talk about digital wealth management at JFD. And um, it's the overall topic here is JFD Invest. And practically, uh, what you can later do is you can uh, follow those strategies. We don't call it social trading. There's a specific reason behind. And therefore, it's just called mirror trading. So those trades are mirrored in your account or copied into your account. Um, why we don't uh, use uh, the, the phrase uh, social trading? Um, I think that phrase is a little bit occupied, um, not that good, uh, because there have been and there are around a couple of trading platforms where you can do similar things and copy trades and copy other people's strategies and accounts. But it's not that serious because uh, sometimes you can even copy demo accounts into real accounts and um, one has to question what's always behind and only because you have a history of uh, a few days with good trades. Um, no, so what we're doing here is really a pre-selection of strategies you will see and um, so it, it's it's something really different of course i will show the platform the jfd investment platform um, the website and everything how it's uh, running and uh, what you can do for selection purposes uh, of course we talk about the three steps to become part of jfd investment what to do but the good thing is you can all already directly, even without any account at JVD, you can have a look to that. Um, so you, you can get a feeling of what's going around and uh, what opportunities are out there. So that's a good thing. Um, but finally, of course, you can be uh, the, a real part of JVD Invest as well. So you can be an investor. Um, since we could talk about trading strategies later, um, of course, I can show you some more details uh, than they are um, published on the website. Simple reason, um, because most of the strategies come from my end, so it's easy for me to talk about those. But I will talk about others as well, um, because it's a good mixture, and um, it's really good to have not only a single source for that, that we have different um, offerings there, and uh, we, we go around those strategies. Yeah, finally, of course, one has always to talk about costs, but not cost in terms of trading as uh, for all the other webinars when we talk about spreads and commissions. No, we have to talk about fees. Um, there is no management fee that I can tell you already straightforward. Um, but if the strategy is doing, good, doing well, then um, there is um, a fee and that fee is calculated according to the high watermark principles and maybe not everybody is familiar with that kind of calculation so I will uh, go for that as well and the other uh, thing I go in detail is the what is called bulk execution. It's really a funny name, and I like that name. Bulk execution or bulk order execution um, is the way how trades are managed if you are becoming an investor. Um, and uh, it's once again like JFD, just fair and direct. It, it's about fairness, how how those trades are managed, and um, and uh, finally you will see that all the trades will be one single trade and um, that's good because then everybody is getting the same price so that's the overview but um so 
you know already JFT Invest is a digital wealth management, but what we are doing here is we we go for top trading strategies which are pre-selected at JFT. So there are a couple of people looking around for um, those strategies. So there's really something um, like a review of those strategies. It's it's a real review that we look for stop loss settings, that we look for risk management, that we uh, look whether those strategies are partly or slightly martingale, yes or no, and how trades are managed. And um, and finally, of course, we look for the equity and, and uh, daily profits, daily deviation of profits and everything like that. And only if it passes that kind of review, then the strategy becomes public at JFD Invest. Um, and you will see later a little bit of those pre-selection criteria, um, because that is what I uh, will show you on, on that website as well. So finally, if you like, of course, you, then you can copy those trades, but according to your personal settings. That means um, you, you can create an, a specific account and then you can say, okay, I go for um, 600 euros for that strategy and 800 euros for uh, the other one and so on. So what, what you need is a JFD Invest account. And I will go for that once again later a little bit more. But what is good is that finally, if you're doing something like that, that you don't need any expert advisor. So you don't have to code um, MQL4 uh, to, to run those strategies. And if you would do already that step um, to, to have an expert advisor, then next step would be that you would need a, what is called a VPS, a virtual private server uh, that is uh, yeah, a rented computer somewhere. Um, so that this computer has uh, um, good power supply, good internet, uh, 24 hours a day, um, not maybe like at home. So you need something like that, that your, your trading activities are controlled permanently. Um, everything like that you don't need. The only thing is you, you do some selections on the web page and then finally everything fine is done by JFD West and by JFD. So that makes the story easy because you don't need any technical uh, environment for that and you can go straight forward for trading. Okay, having said that much about, um, let's go into the, the real thing here. So if I go to the to the JFD webpage, um, and maybe uh, you have already realized that there is a new button, um, but we haven't uh, up to now really um, sent out emails about that. Uh, so it's public, I think, since since a week now. And there we have now a, a new button, which is called um, Investing, and you will find JFD Invest. And of course, I simply will click it. So, um, and when that web page, page is online and always, um, I have to apologize that, that doing internet here and uh, simultaneously doing the webinar is always a little bit a nightmare because um, yeah, everything goes through the same um, internet. <laughs> and uh, But uh, now we have it. So investing made easy and that's really easy what we are doing here. And let me directly jump to what's most um, interesting. So. Already on the web page, you will find the top five performing strategies. So you see here already a, 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 a small selection, five strategies, um, different names, of course. The names are a little bit more marketing-like. <clears throat> um, so I have always uh, the, the problem to, to translate those strategies into my naming. Um, but the good thing is later I will see the, the, the account number and uh, the account number um, then I know exactly what strategy is behind. And looking to those numbers already, hmm, um, return in percent of that account sounds interesting. So you see here um, strategies which have a return of more than 10%. And um, even if you look to those numbers which are year to date, that means, um, of course, uh, since, since uh, January this year, um, we have similar numbers, uh, so they are really 
quite good those strategies so you see last month uh, that means of course we have um, drawdowns here uh, no question and yeah but it's really impressive what's possible um, a little bit more and I would say maybe too good but <laughs> you know my comment uh, like that um, so what we are not looking here for strategies which double your account in a month because I'm do not think that that is uh, would be a serious offer. Um, it might be possible for a month, maybe for two, but not longer. Um, if so, just send me an email, um, and of course I will get in touch with you. If you have something like that, uh, I would be very interested. But I would not believe it's at least not straightforward. But anyhow, so we have those pre-selection of strategies. Everything behind is always live. So we don't use any demo account just to 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 get nice numbers and uh, no, everything is real. Everything is live. That's important because, as the name of JFD, just fair and direct, um, is we want to be serious here. We want to be other than other um, offerings you will find, and yeah, that's already the first thing top five performance strategies, but there are a little bit more already now and there will come even more uh, during the next days and months. Just press follow, then you get direct access to the real JFD uh, invest uh, platform. And um, that will open in a second year, but uh, let me first go for um, uh, those eight strategies so it's not only more five uh, you see the total amount here is eight um, the selection for the web page is uh, done daily uh, and the numbers might deviate because um, the, the numbers on the web page do not update uh, here we have always the latest numbers and um, of course i want to introduce here a little bit more so what you can see because that is the important thing. Now you have a couple of strategies here, but how to judge by your own? And it's an extremely important point here because what you have to do finally is find what really fits to you. Okay, there's there might be one, let's call it strategy to say, I always go for the one with the highest return and I don't care about anything else okay that would not be my preference um but i will show you what what creates my attention and uh what kind of numbers i would use in order to to really judge review those strategies let's go for example for one um steady growth impressive 50 percent since january uh, and if you later will see that the strategy is really live um, since since April. Um, the number becomes a little bit even more impressive. So we, you see, um, uh, first trades has been done um, on second of March. Oh, so it's not April; it's March. Sorry, uh, my mistake. But anyhow, so of course you can see for a given strategy after just clicking the button, you see the growth. That's always the first picture you have. It's just the growth, and since you're a trader, you know that uh, accounts go up, accounts go down, and uh, something like that. So you, you see already what kind of account is it, um, because there has been a withdrawal once, <clears throat> so it's a 20k account. Good thing is, if you click the button detail, you will see minimum investment, 500 euros. That's that's good. Um, so you you know that it's quite easy to follow. You don't need big money for that. Um, so later I will show you how to do it, and uh, that you, we will talk about risk allocation. Um, but even that account you can trade with um, uh, 500 euro being the minimum. So, but let's go a little bit through the numbers we can have here. Growth, equity returns, volume, farming is not that uh, important. It's just um, another calculation of growth, but anyhow. And we have something like equity balance deviation. Sounds strange, um, but it's 
very important to have that. And I think uh, JFD is the, the only platform who is really offering something like that. Of course, if you go for uh, FX Blue and looking for account uh, reviews or details there, you can do more or less a similar thing. Uh, but presenting really equity and balance simultaneously, that's uh, something really uh, new or especially it's important. Let's have a look. Let's start with equity because then we have already two lines. Unfortunately, they are in the same color, but uh, anyhow, we have two green lines here. The upper one is the balance. And if you see my cursor here, um, and uh, just uh, keep it uh, a second at one place, then you will see, okay, there's a balance of uh, 29. Um, K and an equity of uh, about uh, 22, uh, 26 K. Okay, what is the reason? Balance is always your account in terms of uh, closed trades. Equity is always including open trades. And of course, those trades might be positive or negative. Um, and later we will see that, of course, it's possible to have an equity above balance. For this account, it's uh, not looking like that, but um, that has specific reasons. I will show you other accounts later. So, but why is it that important to look to both numbers, balance and equity? Because what really counts is the equity. Because what we need to know is that, uh, well, I, I rephrase everything. On other platforms, you would just see the upper green line, which is more or less steadily, um, steadily growing from, from left uh, lower corner to right upper corner. But that's not a complete story. It's important that you know that during those trades, there might be floating losses. The good thing for that strategy, all the floating losses have always been recovered. Not always, there's even in the balance, there's a drawdown um, here. Um, if, I, if you see now and follow my cursor here, but we, we present it. We, we are that transparent that we even show deviations from balance and equity. There are hundreds of other accounts which have a brilliant balance, but an, really an, an ugly equity. And to show both is important. It's important for you because remember my sentence, you have to find strategies which really fit to your interest, to your settings, to it's like trading itself. So you you would not trade a strategy which not does not fit to to your personal trading activities. So the good thing is, okay, on the one hand we have really an impressive growth of fifteen percent, but from time to time we have those deviations. Okay, we know that. And you can get that even more impressive just uh, visually uh, looking to the equity balance deviation. If you if I press um, that button here, then you see, okay, from time to time, there have been deviations of 25% between equity and balance, but it recovers. So that's a good thing here. Um, you might be interested about the traded volume. I'm don't know. Um, and of course, just the return, the daily return is another very important um, measure and a very important key figure because when it comes to trading, it becomes, it comes to psychology. You know that from your own trading ac uh, activities. So you, you have daily um, profits, losses, and you have to look, okay, we, for this account, we have sometimes returns from one day to the other of 8%. But on the other hand, sometimes we have losses, which are a little bit smaller. So it's good to show that because it, it's related to the question, does the strategy fit to your trading style, to what you want to have uh, later in, in your account? And therefore, we present everything of those data just to give you all the information to come to your selection and that you really know what you might follow um, finally. So 
that is something for me personally extremely important to have that view on returns on a daily basis just to see the volatility of the trading strategy uh, it's not the volatility of, volatility of the market um, it's yeah what can i expect always this is a history and uh, you know the sentence uh, there's no guarantee for the future but what i would expect is always to have similar volatility in the future because it's the same trading strategy there are much more details you have a monthly return table which i like uh, quite well because not only the, the um, visual behavior just to, to look to those numbers um, of course we have advanced statistics here uh, all key figures about the strategy um, all around of um, average trade duration but what counts for me is for example number of trades just to see okay it's not a strategy which is trading uh, maybe 10 trades during the last four months um, to have here some some statistics and uh, therefore it's good to know how many trades have been executed you might even be interested in instruments um okay <laughs> everything every instrument here is in four times but anyhow uh, that's uh, only a visual visualization visualization problem quite difficult to pronounce that word um, but anyhow what we see is that mainly the account is trading ducks and Dow Jones also a question which might be related to your own to your, to your own trading style just to ask or to to answer the question does the strategy fit to what you are doing because maybe you would not follow a strategy which is trading uh, some some weird instruments um, which you even don't know um, or might not know so this one is mainly trading ducks and Dow Jones okay sounds familiar so that you can see as well Close positions, we come to that um, when we later log into here because then we get more details. So let's let's start, let's an overview. Um, and of course, there are a couple of more strategies and I will show you um, another step uh, in a minute. Just, but first to say, hey, maybe you are already a little bit more curious. So finally, you would need three steps to be part of JFD Invest. Uh, the first step, it's not really a step, <laughs> it's, uh, I just call it just looking. Um, just looking is always possible. So what I have done up to now, you can do all the time. You just go to the JFD uh, webpage and uh, go to invest or investing. And it's called, then you, you get the same here. Just press uh, one button on the page and then you are there. It's similar like to be as a guest there. The next step would be to create your own profile. What does it mean? Um, maybe you are already a customer of uh, JFD. Uh, you, you know about that. My JFD, it's not the same here. <clears throat> it's just, and everybody can do it, to create an, an own profile. Well, that means you need an email address and um, a password. Uh, you, you, you select the one, of course, and it's just your profile. Having done that, then you get more information uh, about open trades, for example. You might even enable uh, email notifications about new strategies and so on, if you like. You can disable everything, and it is disabled, I think, from the very beginning. Um, so that's the first step create your own profile. The next step, if you really want to follow a strategy, <clears throat> then you need to open a, what is called a JFD Invest account. That is not a standard account at JFD. Two reasons. So when I say standard account, then I mean um, an account like you might have already, um, because in that JFD Invest account, you cannot trade. <laughs> that sounds strange. Um, only copied trade are executed in those accounts, which implies or which means, because that's always a question when it comes here to, to trade copying, um, you cannot manipulate those trades. You cannot change stop loss settings or um, um, take profits. You cannot even close those trades. What you can do is Every day you can say, yes, I want to follow the strategy or 
I want to disconnect that you can do and trades are closed uh, of course uh, if you would disconnect the strategy from your JFD Invest account. In that JFD Invest account all the trades are copied. The other good thing is because we, we you know the story about ESMA. ESMA is that regulation about uh, leverage of uh, accounts. Those accounts, JFD Invest accounts, are always what's called professional accounts. So the leverage is one to 100. It's not really meant that we use that leverage or that we need that leverage, but at least it has that leverage. So it's a completely separate account, no standard account, and um, you cannot use an existing account which you trade maybe right now. Um, you just need another account. It's really quite easy to open that account. So let's have a look what happens if we log in um, to uh, right here. So we just we want, for example, we want to invest. Oh, and then you see already hmm, um, guest access. No, now either you you might not have already a profile here. So um, then um, you just press this one. For me, it's a little bit easier because <clears throat> I have already a profile. Uh, with my email address and my passport, uh, passport, and now I'm logged into um, the JFD Invest platform. Um, and there are a few things which change if you log in, if you have that profile. And that profile does not mean anything else. So you don't have to pay money or whatever. No, um, but yet now you have access to. Some, some more things like you you can like strategies or dislike them. Uh, you get the dashboard, you get announcement. Um, you can even play around with the settings here. But anyhow, let's go once again to the strategies. Because what's now new is, let's for example, go for the first one here, um, which um, is called Goldmine. Um, it's always funny because those names are made by marketing. But you see another equity. And um, that's an impressive equity as well. Yeah, um, I think you would agree. And what we see, okay, we have up and downs uh, with, within our growth here. And um, I would revisit the topic of uh, equity balance deviation. Let's have a look directly to that. And now we see <clears throat> that from time to time the, the, the equity is above the balance, of course, uh, as it should be, or as because that's of, of course possible. But you see for this, this strategy, the deviation is not that huge. So um, trades are managed by stop loss and from time to time stop losses happen. And since I know that strategy much more in detail, um, and I will go later to directly to the VPS that you can see a little bit more about uh, what's going around with that strategy. Uh, today has been such a stop loss event, therefore we have um, um, a small drawdown at the very end. And what you can see now, and that's different to uh, if you don't have a profile, you see all closed positions. Um, so you can really look how the trades are managed. You can look to every individual trade of that account. Okay, in this case, you would have um, to open 85 uh, pages here, but um, you see, it's completely transparent. All the trades are shown up here and you have access to that. So that's quite well. Let's come back to how to select strategies for your own. As always, what I like is to have a look to the daily return. The daily return tells you the volatility of a strategy. And here that strategy um, runs with uh, smaller volatility, but at least once we have had um, a daily return of minus 5%. Okay. But on the other hand, we have had um, nearly the same on the other side as well. But it's it's not that volatile than other strategies. So it's something you always have, always have to consider when it comes to selection of strategies. And why I'm telling you all those stories because that is I want to create a little bit added value here as well uh, that we learn about trading, that we learn about how to to 
revenue other people uh, trading accounts um, and of course you know that, that I'm doing something like that quite often and that's exactly what I do to review those things we have monthly uh, return table here so um, everything quite well and finally once again let's have a look to that equity balance deviation then you see okay numbers are go down to minus three percent okay so you can do things like that let's come to the step you want to really to follow hey then you want to press invest and um now you see we need something else um you see here that either you have you have to open a new account in jfd invest as an additional invest account or it might be your first one there's a difference because there's a questionnaire you have to answer uh, once in your life uh, when you open the, your first um, invest account so um since i don't have a one uh, will press that button and um, you see then I have to log in to the to JFD um, no problem I can do that and then what I, there's only one thing I want to show you um, oh yeah no now I have to answer some questions here that I'm not a robot uh, so crosswalks let's go for crosswalks on those pictures is there a crosswalk I don't I don't think so um, okay so now i can log in sorry for that delay but um, you know from time to time to have to do that and the only thing is now uh, it would be to open that jfd invest account and there are only two two things you have to confirm one is your age and the other one that's really important um, that you have uh, reviewed the limited power of attorney um, what's behind that finally what happens here is that somebody else is trading in your account and of course that needs your approval um, this somebody else is is technique but uh, anyhow so that needs your your definite um, approval and then you can start trading or selection um, let's go not anymore there but um, the final thing i want to show here if you have a in such a trading account then you can do what I would call is your own portfolio manager because what you can do is that you select certain strategy and you allocate some amount of money or you allocate money to a specific strategy and that's quite cool what you're doing now because you you behave like a portfolio manager you have in this case a selection of uh, pre-selected eight strategies but now it's up to you to say okay i like this one i want to have that one as well i have reviewed all the the equity curves in order to see whether they are correlated or uncorrelated and that's something um, i care a lot of um, for for that purpose that i don't have uh, let's say two long strategies one on um, dax and the other one on uh, dow jones and next one on uh, s p 500 and all are more or less trading long uh, same time frame no uh, because then those strategies would be correlated and that's something i don't like therefore it's good to have all the information here on the web page uh, to look for those trades uh, and just already with your eye you can uh, look for correlation between equities so then here it's up to you to say i want to allocate that amount of money to that strategy that amount of money to that strategy and so on and so forth so um, you are really a portfolio manager here and in total i would call it a passive investment it's not the same or oh, um, it's similar to just go to your bank and say here is money please make the money more um, now you are still part of the game because you select and you do the risk allocation um, of your own portfolio you might have seen already that um, that there is a that there is a fee and i mentioned already that there is no management fee so just um, for example here um, the performance fee um, oops 
it's gone. The performance fee of that strategy is 25%. But what does it mean? It's not that you have to pay from your account 25%. No, um, it's a different story. The story behind is high watermark. And in order to, to explain it a little bit more in detail, because uh, we talk about costs, we talk about fees, so that is something you're definitely interested in as well. Um, so I will repeat myself, no management fee. So no baseline costs, like 1% per year of your account or 2%, no. You only pay if there are profits. Let's go through the pictures, because then it becomes obvious what what is high watermark. Um, so let's start with an equity of, let's say, 1,000 uh, euros. At the end of the first month, uh, we might end with an equity of 1,200. Perfect. So strategy has 20% uh, profit. And out of those 200 euros, we calculate the performance fee, which is 25%. So it would be 50 euros. Good. Next month, once again, a good month. Um, additional 200 euros come on top um, since we are once again, the end of the month. So there would be fees for that month as well. So next month, we have a drawdown. So we lose 300 euros. And of course, you don't have to pay anything. What's always now important is that everything is measured against the last high. The last high at end of the month. So that is the point of interest here now. Let's go for the upcoming months a little more in detail. Let's say in the middle of the month, we are at 1,600. Still, you don't have to pay because it's the middle of the month. And assume that at the end of the month, we are back to 1,100. That means we you don't have to pay it um, once again here because um, we you only would have to pay if a, if a new end of the month is above 1,400, only in this case. So finally, high watermark is, at least to my knowledge, um, the best you can do as offering something like that because it's really quite fair and you only have to pay if the strategy is successful. So if there are profits, okay, then you might be let's say, willing or accepting um, that you have to pay something. But if there are no uh, profits, you don't have to pay. At least that is fair enough because mm, you have lost money, um, but um, you don't have to pay even for the losses. So that's really quite fair. I mentioned already another step, which is important when it comes to social trading, trade copying, trade mirror activities, and that is the technique behind. And that is illustrated in that picture here, and um, in the brokerage um, scene that is called bulk order execution. And bulk order execution is really good. Let's assume that we have four investors um, connected to JFD Invest. So meaning, um, let's say, four people who are following one particular strategy. And of course, there is a strategy um, offerer, somebody who's really taking care of the, the master account, the one which, which plays uh, um, all the trades, which is really doing its job. And now the following happens. Think about the master account is doing a trade. Okay, that trade goes directly to the bridge, and uh, that means uh, bridges in terms of brokerage, um, that company who is um, allocating all the trades from different brokers and is connected to the liquidity pool, which and behind the liquidity pool, and we talk about that already in a, another webinar a couple of months ago, uh, behind the liquidity pool are banks. Uh, for example, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, um, uh, Morgan Stanley, and so on. So, because they are finally your counterpart for trade. So, that is the one channel. And the other one is all those copied trades which come from uh, Investor 1 or are for Investor 1, Investor 2, Investor 3, they are aggregated, they are accumulated to one single trade. And that one single trade is transferred to the bridge as well and is transferred and then um, um, 
the, the, the trade comes through to the liquidity pool to the banks, uh, which are the counterparts. That means that all the investors get the same price. So if you have a colleague and uh, you are, who is following the same strategy, and if you would ask, hey, uh, how was execution of last euro US dollar trade? Um, both would answer the same um, number, which is good because then everything is even fair more. So that is bulk order execution. It guarantees same execution for all investors, which is um, important. As I mentioned, because um, when we look here to, to our um, table of strategies, I want to go in two, for example, a little bit more in detail. Of course, <clears throat> The, the number one is always interesting. <laughs> I know that, um, but not being not because number one is the one here. Uh, I would say that is the best one. No, it's a question of what fits to you. But nevertheless, let's go for that one. Um, for that one, I can tell you a little bit more um, because um, I'm personally trading that one. Um, and, and I have to 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 add here. Uh, it's only since a couple of days uh, the strategy is uh, strategy is the number one here. Before that it was uh, the, the second one here, which is really performing well as uh, as well. So it's on VPS three, and um, the trading account behind, and uh, you could now even compare. Um, account numbers here. So, and, and if you are familiar with the numbering at JFD, then you definitely will know uh, that this is an um, account which is a real live account. And um, now, in a second, uh, I hope you you get the screen now. You have it. Um, <clears throat> you see all the details of that account. Um, okay. This you cannot have directly through the JFD Invest uh, platform. At least what you have would have realized on that platform is that uh, that strategy is trading 13 different um, underlings, 13 different symbols, a couple of um, forex symbols uh, as well as gold. But honestly, um, for me personally, gold is just another forex uh, pair. Um, but okay. That's maybe different for you, but for me, it's just another forex pair. And of course, what you can see here, and I mentioned that already, that we have one one negative uh, sequence of neg negative trades for today, but that's okay. Um, we think stop loss is fair enough. Um, still, that account has, uh, as you can see here below in very small numbers, um, the, the difference between um, balance, which is Kontostand, and equity, which is equity, <laughs> um, is now positive here. Uh, so everything is managed. Everything is well, uh, well done, or at least well allocated. The strategy behind is, if you look to the naming of the expert advisor, then you you have three names here. PT stands for position trading one. Um, that is a kind of good trading, but nothing martingale and always a stop loss, as you have seen here, because we have reached the stop loss for that trade sequence. We are using power candles here. Power candles are the entry trigger for a trade sequence. So in case we, we realize um, a big enough H1 uh, candle, then that will trigger trade. And the name follow means that um, we open the trade into the direction of the power candle. We talked about that strategy a couple of months ago already. And what I would like to, to uh, repeat here is, as you know, that if it comes to, to trading strategies out of my hand, that what I'm always doing already during the development phase of trading strategy, I use the walk forward methodology in order to, to create the strategy or to test that strategy, not just the single back test for the complete history you, you have in mind. No, it's it's a case of, and we have the, uh, that thing in, in the webinars, that we, we have a period for optimization, then we go into the upcoming future and we apply our parameters to that future. And that step is repeated 
during the complete history of data. And now what's happening here is I do still the same. It's not only a methodology for doing um, another backtest. No, I use the same methodology today, now. That means the underlying parameters like what is the size of a power candle, um, where to set stop losses, where to do rebuys, is dynamically. So everything is recalculated in, for this strategy, pff, I think every one and a half months. Um, and I do it, I do not do it simultaneously for uh, all underlyings. It's um, uh, stepwise. So it's about um, two underlyings a week, uh, which get new parameters. <clears throat> and that is a good thing that you have now via JFD Invest access to strategies which are really self-adapting to the market situations. And that is the other kind of description of um, back forward testing for the development phase. But using the same for the real life trading means <clears throat> that you, you adapt those parameters because markets are changing. That means strategies have to change as well. And that is reflected in changed parameters. And now you have that access to that kind of strategy, which is really uh, a little bit more high end and uh, not straightforward. It's not the same or the simple rule based strategies like I open always my trade at 10 o'clock and you name it um, because of specific rules and those rules will never change. Here are rules as well, yes, but there's a logic of how to calculate those parameters and those parameters change. So we have self adapting dynamic strategies and they are now uh, available for you as well. Um, Having seen that kind of strategy, let's uh, discuss one um, other one. Let's go a little bit down the road here uh, to see a little bit more of um, strategies. And uh, uh, it takes a second just to, to upload uh, those data. And now uh, I think you have it. And uh, let's look for the growth here. Okay, uh, that looks more, mm, let's say, like a Typical trading account. Mm, hopefully, you you have the same results um, um, in your trading account. Um, but anyhow, so you know, you know the story. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. It looks like a little bit like like um, Dow Jones or DAX for a specific time frame. But it's not trading uh, Dow Jones or uh, something like that. So it's a real trading account, typical behavior. And <clears throat> if you look here for um, that deviation between equity and uh, balance, it's more or less uh, most of the time even positive. So equity is above balance. Um, so trades in most of the time start uh, quite positive. Um, that kind of Trading account is not that heavy trader. It's uh, within the time frame here it has um, executed uh, nearly 80 trades. And if you look for the instruments, which is always interesting to have a view of that, then you can see, okay, um, it's um, about 10 instruments which are traded here. And since I know that strategy uh, quite well, uh, let's go for that one in detail here. Um, it's not really by purpose that um, if we look now to that kind of um, trading strategy, it's related to power candles as well, but in a different way. So there are no rebuys or no trade sequences. It's always a single trade activity. Single trade activity means if we uh, encounter a big candle, Here's logic is a little bit different. It's not just there's a big candle, let's open a trade at the end of that candle. No. Here we do buy limit orders or sell limit orders. Let's, um, I think that candle here, the, 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 if I go here, where now my cursor is for um, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, that candle was slightly below the threshold to be um, labeled a power candle, but it 
can use that candle to illustrate how the strategy works. The other strategy we discussed uh, on the other uh, screen would have opened trades directly at, at the end of that candle. This strategy is looking for some drawbacks. It would place the order as a buy limit order. Buy limit because we have a long power candle, which is close to be labeled a power candle because threshold was not exceeded. Um, but just how that would work. Um, then there's a buy limit percentage value, um, and that is um, calculated uh, on the base of the, the of the body of, of the power candle. And for example, the order would have been placed here. Uh, so slightly not filled, but uh, just to illustrate how the strategy works. If we have an ongoing trade, there will be all other power candles will be um, not uh, realized. We, we just care for that single trade. And um, what you see, for example, here right now, we don't have any pending order and all the pending orders which have been there are filled. So we have right now five orders here uh, ongoing. All trades are running and um, at least the sum of those trades is positive. So totally different strategy, totally uncorrelated to the first one. Only within the name we find two times power candles. But here we are talking about D1 strategy daily. And the other one was based on H1. So hourly, so uh, different symbols, um, different setups, um, like rebuys on the one hand or trade sequences. Here we have single trade activities for a single symbol. So completely different story. And that's how it works. So um, you see, a couple of strategies. You might have a close view to all those strategies. And if you do it in a week from now, you even might find new one. Um, yeah, you know what to do. And I hope that I explained a little bit more about how to uh, to do your own review on those strategies, because it's important. You are your portfolio manager, your own portfolio manager. You have to make those decisions. The only thing JFD has done is that kind of pre-selection um, in terms of offering those strategies. But finally, yeah, it's up to you. And yeah, that's already my, my last slide. And uh, you see my main statement. Now it's your turn. Um, but nothing um, oh, still what I would always recommend is doing that kind of review process. It's not straightforward always to go for the highest numbers. Look what kind of symbols are traded. Look for single trades. Look for volatility. Does it fit to, 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 to you, to your style, uh, what you would allow? Um, and then you can do your own portfolio. Um, I personally like that kind of approach AFD is doing here because now it's easy for you to have those trades uh, copied into your account and uh, it's absolutely transparent. Look for, uh, well, I, I repeat myself with those equity balance deviation, which is really a huge step in terms of transparency um, compared to, to other offerings. So, um, the, the fees are fair only if they are success, no management fee. So that's exactly how it should be, and that's how it is. Hopefully, you enjoyed that kind of webinar as well. Next week, it's already next week, not in two weeks. Next week, we talk about how to develop a stock trading strategy really from scratch. And um, as you know, um, my webinars or the webinar topics uh, besides the one from, from today when I talk about trading strategies, it's always that I talk exactly about those things which I'm really working on. Um, so what I'm doing there, <laughs> you will find in a couple of months or a couple of weeks, maybe here under JFD Invest um, or uh, at any other uh, opportunity, because it's, it's always I do those things um, in parallel. Um, meaning what kind of webinars, what kind of strategies we should go for. And uh, that the next one is about stock trading. Uh, I introduced already one 
what I want to introduce uh, another one, but there I want to go really from scratch, that you see the logic how I develop and how I come to my ideas, and then it goes further. And it's a two-part webinar, meaning uh, one is next week and the other one is uh, at the end of uh, September. Hopefully you will be there. Hopefully you enjoyed today's webinar. Any questions or still open issues, just send me an email as always here at s.fredrichowski at jftbrokers.com uh, and I will make sure that you get an answer um, more or less immediately or at least on short-term notice. Enjoy the evening. Bye-bye.